Brothers and sisters, now with confirmed cases of Ebola in the United States, with so much focus on the healthcare system, the fact is that when people are seriously ill or injured, they call 911. And you, IFF members, are first on the scene to all emergencies, including the initial treatment and transport of those with possible exposure to infectious diseases. That's why the IFF is urging all of our affiliates to conduct a safety stand down which means we work with management, elected, and other governmental officials to immediately assess your department's preparedness and review all infectious exposure policies, procedures, and guidelines. The professionalism our members display in the face of adversity every day is nothing less than incredible. And while the threat of Ebola presents a new challenge, it reinforces the important role professional firefighters and paramedics play in not just fighting fires, but as all hazards first responders. Affiliates should also hold accountable your elected officials and fire department management to ensure you are adequately equipped and trained to respond to all emergencies, including suspected cases of Ebola. This is the first time the IFF has called for a safety stand down in response to a particular public safety threat. The IFF made this decision because too many jurisdictions in the United States and Canada have not adequately provided the training, equipment, and resources needed so you can respond appropriately and safely to potential Ebola incidents. It's the IFF's job to do whatever it takes to keep you, our members, and communities safe in the face of new and emerging threats to public safety. And that's just what we're doing here in Washington pushing the administration and Congress to do their part, ensuring that communities have the training, equipment, and funding needed. We're also providing a comprehensive resource, available online and on our IAFF Frontline app, to make sure you have the information you need to safely respond to worst-case scenarios with potential Ebola exposures. We'll be updating this site daily, and I encourage you to take advantage of this resource. Stay safe.